All right, so there's been a lot of hype lately about Tesla's virtual power plant and the related auto bidder software. Quite frankly, I don't think there's enough hype. Virtual power plants could be the holy grail of renewable energy. In this video, I'll explain the five reasons why I'm super pumped about these new Tesla products. Hi, I'm Gio, and welcome to Renewable Energy Investments. This channel offers a high-level discussion of publicly traded renewable energy companies because building an investment portfolio starts with building awareness. Before we get into my five reasons, here's a quick recap of Tesla's virtual power plant and the auto bidder platform. When more renewable energy is produced than is needed for immediate use by the homeowner, the excess renewable energy is stored in batteries, becoming available to participate in the virtual power plant. When energy demand spikes, the virtual power plant kicks in and this excess renewable energy is fed into the grid as a supplement. Instead of having to fire up dirty and expensive coal peaker plants, each house with a power wall sells some of the energy stored in that power wall to the grid so that the grid is able to meet the energy demand without the peaker plant. A Tesla electric vehicle can also be plugged into and participate in the virtual power plant, just like the power wall. Auto Bidder is Tesla's software that enables battery owners to monetize their battery assets. It's essentially an artificial intelligence controlled real-time energy trading platform that enables users to autonomously capitalize on energy rate arbitrage by selling power to the grid when demand for energy and thus energy prices are high, and charging batteries from the grid when demand for energy is low and energy prices are cheap. The batteries act as a buffer and smooth out the grid's energy supply and demand curves. Essentially, Powerwall and Tesla owners get to print free money from their excess renewable energy. Tesla's virtual power plant and the AutoBidder platform have already begun to be rolled out. AutoBidder is successfully operating at Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia, and through market bidding, has added competition to drive down energy prices. Alright, so here are the five reasons why this gets me super pumped. Reason number one, this thing could make billions and with very little costs. The hardware needed to participate in the virtual power plant is already in place. People already have their electric vehicles, solar panels, and battery packs because they are compelling products on their own. The virtual power plant and auto bidder platform are largely software add-ons that completely transform this already in place hardware into a money printing machine. Neither Tesla nor the consumers will incur much incremental costs in transforming this hardware into the virtual power plant. Because it is essentially an artificial intelligence controlled software add-on, Tesla should realize software-like margins on its auto bidder services. This is another example of Tesla using its software engineers to turn relatively low margin, potentially commodity-like products into high margin, extremely valuable assets. It's an opportunity for massive incremental revenues. Reason number two. Tesla and Elon Musk are making a habit out of finding new ways to monetize existing infrastructure, and this train shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. From autonomous driving, in-car entertainment, and ride-sharing services for its electric vehicles, to virtual power plants for its batteries and solar panels, Tesla continues to demonstrate a unique ability to add layers of software margins to its existing product lines. This is becoming habitual behavior that I do not expect will stop anytime soon. Sometimes, you gotta look deeper than the surface level to see whether a company's moves reflect underlying characteristics that will bode well for the company for years to come. Here, Tesla's ability to create new ways to monetize existing assets is extremely powerful and should permeate everything Tesla gets into in the future. Unlike many brilliant scientists who are merely laboratory champions, Musk is also a cunning businessman. This monetization trend is extremely exciting and keeps me wondering about the other potential platforms just waiting to be monetized by Tesla in the future. Quick break to remind you to hit that thumbs up button to help support this channel. It really means a lot to me. Also, I invite you to subscribe to this channel to follow along in our discussion of renewable energy companies in future episodes. Alright, back to it. The third reason why I'm super pumped about Tesla's virtual power plant and auto bidder platform is that, true to Tesla's mission, this will undoubtedly accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. 
The more wealth solar panels and batteries create for their owners, the higher the demand will be for them. And with this increased demand comes increased production volume, declining cost curves, and increased incentive for innovation. Increased resources will be devoted to research and development, resulting in even better products. This ties into reason number four. Not only is this an enormous opportunity for Tesla to make billions and for participant customers in the virtual power plant to print free money, but by making renewable energy a profitable enterprise for all participants, it will supercharge demand for renewable energy products generally. Solar panel companies, inverter manufacturers, and battery producers will all see increased demand. This rising tide should raise all ships. Perhaps the biggest third-party beneficiaries will be the inverter companies. Tesla's current lineup of energy products has a missing link, the solar inverter. Solar panels generate power and battery store power in the form of a direct current, or a DC current. But household appliances and the utility grid all run on alternating current, or AC electricity. Accordingly, a device called an inverter is required to convert the DC electricity from the solar panels into a grid and appliance-friendly AC current. Companies like Solar Edge and Enphase, who are making state-of-the-art smart inverters and microinverters, provide the inverters needed to make Tesla's virtual power plant work, and work efficiently. This leads me to speculate. Could Tesla be developing its own inverter? We all know Tesla is a company that loves to vertically integrate. It's their MO. Through vertical integration, Tesla is able to fully control each component in the ultimate product, and thus tweak each component so that it is designed specifically to optimize the larger system. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla moved into the inverter space. Do you think this is likely? Let me know in the comments below. Reason number five. Cheaper energy for everyone could be a perpetual boost to the economy. If every household spends less on its energy bill, the money saved would be freed up to be spent on other things. Collectively, this is a massive amount of money, and this extra money circulating in the economy bodes very well for society, in general. For all of these reasons, I'm super pumped. Being a renewable energy enthusiast and a Tesla shareholder, this is awesome. Let me know in the comments below. Are you as pumped for Tesla's virtual power plant and auto bidder platform as I am? Do you have any other reasons to be optimistic that I didn't discuss? What products will Tesla slap an extra layer of software revenues onto next? Thanks for making it to the end of the video. As always, let me know if there are any other renewable energy companies you'd like me to do a deep dive into in future episodes. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.